Hey y'all! I wanted to do a quick video where I talk about how I'm updating my spear-centric solo build for Season 3 and the expansion, which launches in just a few days. Full disclosure, I only PvE and I consider myself a very casual player, so take everything I say with a grain of salt, even more so because it's subject to change after the expansion goes live. I'm still putting most of my points in the Impaler tree, using Skewer, Perforate, and Vault Kick for stuns and cooldown reduction, instead of the more popular Sweep, which only does a knockdown. Another reason I run Vault Kick is because it triggers a shorter animation lock, and includes movement, both of which make it a lot safer to use during most incoming attacks. The thing I like most about this build is that the Spear can practically stand on its own for most solo PvE encounters. Secondary weapons are great, especially when you're at range, but a lot of the time you can get by just fine without them. I get tons of stamina and cooldown reduction from various spear skills, so there's almost always something to press, and I've always found it easier to concentrate on dodging when I don't have a multi-weapon rotation to worry about. Not to mention this gives me the freedom to pick almost any secondary weapon to swap to for abilities and nothing else. Whether that's an ice gauntlet for slows and ice doom, a warhammer for stuns and knocks, a great axe for gravwell, or even a life staff. As someone who up until recently only played light or heavy, I'm still getting used to medium, but since it's the only weight class that gets a dodge discount, now that they're redesigning the 300 dex perk to something else, and because they've increased the distance of medium and heavy dodging, it's what I'm planning to play from now on, and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. What I really want to talk about, though, is artifacts. Regretfully, I didn't make time to get back on the PTR after they added backstories with artifacts unlocked, but I think I've read enough about them to know which ones I'm going to chase. Before the expansion, I'd stack life stealing and Leeching on my Spear and Ring, but the Blood Drinker Artifact Ring, despite its 25% nerf to damage done, is massively appealing to me, especially since it'll allow me to ditch life stealing on my weapon and replace it with something more damage oriented. Aside from Enfeebling Skewer, which is absolutely essential still, I can't say for sure which other perks I'll aim for on a Spear. Most of my favorites are actually getting nerfed, I'm talking Vicious, Keenly Empowered, Enchanted, and a handful of others. But I will say I'm looking at rolling Vicious or Enchanted for one perk, and Keenly Jagged or Empowered for the other. Notably, Keenly Empowered might have nice synergy with the new 350 dex perk that increases crit chance during empowerment. Another artifact I'm looking at is Tumblr Shoes, which at the time of writing comes from level 20 on the free Seasonal Rewards track. I'm sure everyone's looking at this one, but for me it depends on how responsive the perk is since others like Shirking Fortification are pretty notorious for failing to activate if your dodge is considered outside of trigger range. And finally, I'm looking at the artifact Void Gauntlet, Life Taker. In the past I found a Void Gauntlet pretty useful for health and stamina regen through Oblivion and Essence Rupture, with the Refreshing Rupture weapon perk improving its uptime even further. Otherwise, it's been pretty much useless, of course, because it doesn't scale with the same attributes as Spear. But Life Taker is unique in that way, in that it scales with dex if that's higher. That means I'll have a Void Gauntlet with actual options for range damage, instead of just a few useful skills. I generally run Spear Void Gauntlet for single target, melee oriented boss fights, but for clearing trash and running around the open world, I'm probably going to continue to run Spear Bow, especially for leveling. Life Taker also gives me the option to run a bow with a Void Gauntlet, since ranged attacks with both weapons benefit from its Disintegrate perk which sounds appealing for content I'm more comfortable running as ranged. But that's another conversation entirely, so I'll move on. Apart from the removal of the dex dodge perk, I'm actually really happy with the attribute changes and how they suit my needs. Currently I'm planning 350 dex, 100 strength, 100 con, and then just dumping the rest of it into whatever I need. It feels pretty flexible. I've seen a lot of people recommending that you don't craft bis with prismatic scarabs until the inevitable first wave of perk rebalancing. I totally agree with this, but since I'm a slave to instant gratification, I'll likely be aiming to make armor as soon as possible with Enchanted Ward, Health, Refreshing, and the other two Spear perks, Fortifying Perforate and Keen Vault Kick. I'll be wanting an amulet with Stamina Recovery and either Fortified or Empowered, again depending on Empowerment Uptime and the synergy of that with the 350 Dex perk, and I'm still looking for an earring with Regenerating for a bit of passive regen, and until I get Blood Drinker, I'll be keeping my ring with Leeching, Hardy, and Keen Awareness, because those are just great perks. Now, assuming I understand artifact upgrades correctly, we can eventually roll a final perk on them. Keen Awareness sounds ideal to me, though thrust damage wouldn't be awful either, especially if I'm using dual thrust weapons. 
Finally, I'm sticking with Brutal Heart Rune of Stoneform, since it's so versatile and doesn't trigger an animation lock. There's nothing more to say about it, really, just that it's a nice bit of stagger and CC immunity on demand, as well as a small burst of damage that fits well in some places. Anyways, those are my immediate plans to update my build in the expansion. I've always found this spear build to be very friendly for casual solo play, so I'm excited that the new perks and artifacts could help me lean into that even more. As always, I hope this information has been interesting, useful, or both. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.